is a whirlpool wash machine that I haven't been using for a few years now what the deal is is a, a raccoon got into my attic and uh, knocked out all the power about burnt my house down had to call the fire department to find out wh where the smoke was coming from because the electric line in the attic was shortened out raccoon did that and so about the time I finally get all organized get up enough money and everything to finally wire the wash machine back up and start cleaning out the inside of it and everything what I find is a, a dead mouse has been in there for quite a while is a dead rotted mouse which is clearly a design defect of the wash machine whirlpool engineers refused to listen to the customers and design mouse proof pest proof uh, products they don't listen to one word the customer ever says to them these manufacturers don't and then what happens is when they start to lose money because the customers don't buy their product anymore is the government comes and bails them out which is just encourages them some them to make more products that uh, crappy products it just that's all it does when the government comes and bails out these big corporations give them government grants and it just encourages them to build more junk but I do blame this on Whirlpool for for design flaw while we're on the subject of uh, mice and uh, also rats uh, let's see the false government's at it again they executed Troy Davis um, I believe it was Wednesday night for uh, killing the police officer of course I think they said that was in 1989 I don't know how bad the government was back then I guess it was pretty bad but and what they should have done instead of going to say have clemency and all that on on uh says they should go around uh, saying 9-11 was an inside job you know this is just a, most of the people right here said I think it I don't know if it's most of them but but they said you know like hundreds and thousands uh, we're trying to stop the execution from happening but this is what happens again when the people are not allowed to vote on all the major issues that that the government decides what a select few who weasel their way into office they were never chosen by Yahweh called God to be in public office and and they rule over the government of course now no one has an excuse to be a a police officer working for the Illuminati government so so we have to fight this thing you know these these governments who whose sides they're gonna make all the decisions for us instead of letting the people vote because a country that where the people are not allowed to vote on the, all the major issues is not a free nation and we do need to fight this and like I said what they should have been protesting is 9-11 was an inside job and also the family of that police officer they were using religion again to say well we were praying for the the Davis family and all that you know saying well what they're trying to actually doing is saying they're greater than the apostle prophets that uh, Yahweh called God said and that's what they're doing they create their own religion in Jesus name just so that they can uh, go out and uh, control people with using religion